Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom entity by Drush command. So for that, first you have to uh, go to your uh, git bash. So I'm going to generate by using Drush command, not manually. So by using this way, you can save your time and you can generate a module very quickly. So first you have to generate a module. So Drush ge generate module. So first you have to give the module name. So I'm just giving custom. So it's a module name. So not a machine name, custom entity example. And the machine name that is fine for me. If you want to change the machine name, you can change it. And then uh, description, that's okay. Package custom and dependencies. If you have any different dependencies, you can add or else you can leave it. And if you want module file or any other file, just go with it. I don't want any of this file. So this will create only info file for me. Okay. So now the info file is created. Next, I'm going to add a custom entity to this module. So to do that, you have to use Drush generate entity colon content. So now I'm going to generate a content entity. So content entity means it's just like a node. Okay. So module machine name. So since we already created a module, you have to use custom entity example. So uh, you cannot do, you cannot run this command without this because this command will not create an info file. This will create only the custom entity. So you can directly run this command and manually create an info file or else you can go in this way, okay? And I'm giving the machine name. So the same machine name what I created already, I'm just reusing it. And then entity type, what entity type name you are going to give like, like node, whatever, okay? Content, for node it's a content is an entity type label. So here I'm going to give in custom entity example and then uh, entity type id so for node it's a node and label is content as like here you have to give custom entity example and the next base path so entity base path represent when you uh, edit a node on when you view a node when you delete a node or when you go to the revisions so the base path will be always node. So it will be like node slash node ID, node slash node ID slash edit, node slash node ID slash delete or revisions. So you have to give any base path here. So I'm just using the same word, which is already defined. So just go with it. And then if you want to make the entity type fieldable, you can make it yes or no. And revisionable, if you want to enable revisioning for your entity, you can give yes. I don't want revision, so I'm just going with no. And then next, if you want, if you are going to create a custom entity for multilingual website, you just need to enable it translatable or else no need. And bundle, so bundle represent when it, if you want to have number of bundles inside the entity type. So like uh, uh, when it comes to node, so bundle represents article, basic page, blocks, whatever, right? So that is what bundle. So if you want to have a bundle inside this entity type, you can make it enabled. So I'm giving no here. And then create canonical path. So canonical path represents node slash node ID. If you want, as yes, I want. And then if you want to generate an entity template, you can give, I don't want template. I, I'll just use the existing one. And code permission. So uh, when you create an entity, you will be adding a node will be deleting an order or you will be editing an order, right? So as like that, uh, for our custom entity, do you want to create a permission for each action for create or for delete for all? If you want to give us, it will create a permission for each actions. And then uh, when you create, a, just consider if you're creating a content type and if you're creating a node, so by default, there will be some set of fields, right? So when the node is created, who is the author and who is, what is the label or title here? It's label. So by default in uh, node, it will be title. And you will be having some sort of base fields. Those are called base fields. So if you want to have base fields of label, yes. Status, so published or unpublished. Created, when they created, when it is changed. Author, so description. So if you want to have all these as a base field, you can have. 
So if you don't want to track when the node is created, when your custom entity is created or changed, you can remove these two base fields. And if you want to have a risk configuration for the entity, you can make it enable. And that's it. Now our uh, complete custom entity module is enabled. So when you go here, so this is our custom entity example module, which we created now. And I'm just opening it. So here you can see all the be created, root will be created, permission will be created, and for annotations, entity type annotation, everything will be generated. So here you can see complete annotation is generated. And for uh, settings form, if you want to have any settings, you can add here and edit, delete form. Everything will be there. Now let's go to the site and enable the module. So this is the module name, custom entity example, which we created, just enable it. Now the module is enabled and it will have a configuration under structure and content entity entities will be inside the under menu. Okay. When you go to structure, so here you will be able to see custom entity example. So here you can see uh, settings, manage fields, manage form display, manage display, everything will be there. By default, there won't be any settings. If you want to add any settings for your custom functionality, you can add any settings in your form. And then uh, this is the manage fields where you can add a number of fields for your entity. So all these you can you have to handle as like how you're doing for content type. And next, all the generated content will be here. Custom entity example. So here you have to add all the entities. So if I add any entity here. So here you can see this is the base part. So which you give in your comments. So custom entity example slash add. So I'm just giving this content. So this represents canonical URL. So node slash node ID is a canonical URL for that entity. For this entity, this is the canonical URL. And edit. So all part will use this as a base custom entity example. So you can edit, delete, whatever you want. You can, you can do it. And you can go to here and list all the entities. So all entities will be listed here. And that's it. So this is how you have to create a your own custom entity by using dash command and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye